So good morning, happy day three. The music, just so that you're all hooked up, is six Ashna. It's on Spotify, it's on the Instagram link tree, it's on the website, it's on the YouTube. And if you still can't find it, then just contact me and I'll send you the link directly. So, Emily Dembski, great reminder for me. Put your oil or adjust your fingertip. If you don't have anything else, put your fingertip right here. So there's a space where the line of your brow would continue. Hi, love, good morning, Michelle. Right across, right? Two fingers above that, you'll feel there's a softening. There's a ridge for your eyebrows, which protects the eyeballs. And then above that is an indentation and everyone has it in a slightly different place. You can hold that with your fingertip or you can put the oil there. And then secondarily, the crown of the head, you can put the oil there and the base of the spine. So if you don't have the oil, fantastic. Hold the third eye, hold the crown of the head. And if you close your eyes for a moment, imagine that this forehead center point would go right through deeper and deeper into the brain. And then imagine from the crown of your head where you're holding a plumb line down, feel where they would meet. That that's actually where this energy center is located. And the third eye center is an access point. So we have two terms, and this always threw me off. Third eye center, this space, the space of awareness, a space of access, a portal place. And then the midbrain, and at the point where the, the cross line of the temples, the crown of the head, and this third eye point, where they intersect, you find the pineal gland. And this is a master gland for the balancing of the hormones, the endocrine system throughout the body. And as we create calm, the question becomes, how is this practice suddenly affecting me so fully? Because when we access this point, it begins to affect all the other systems of our body, all our messaging of well-being is translated to the mechanism that holds us in balance. So the navel point is a place of power and change, right? The heart is a place of amplification, expansion. And the head ideally becomes a place of calm, and in the calm, it becomes a space of perception. That the processing that's available in the mind becomes rarefied, becomes clarified, so that we can see and perceive more fully. And in that perception, the most important aspect there is that we are not alone. So as we open and access through this portal, as this portal opens and accesses the balance of our blood pressure, our sex drive, our hormones, our stress levels are met and responded to, that all comes from this master gland right in the center of us. And in that quiet, we are connected. I am whole, I am home. I am more than this physical body. I am accessing something greater. And that has such an effect on us, right? So let's tune in, bring your palms together, sitting tall, sitting at the edge of a blanket or a bolster so you've got yourself upright, palms together. Ong namo, I bow to everything outside of me. Guru Dev Namo, I bow to everything inside of me. Outside and in, I am held, blessed, and guided. Inhale. 
shoulders shake out your hands and we start on our bellies so set everything aside and put your blanket up in front the playlist begins at lunar rainbow and on your belly opening your blanket let the fold of the blanket come right under the center of your forehead and allow your arms out long drop your forehead to the fold of the blanket so that your nose is free and you can breathe and you don't feel squashed onto your mat. If you need to, double up that blanket, arms out either on the pinky edge or palms down and begin to deepen your breathing. The mind functions best when it's clear. The surface of a lake becomes transparent when it's still. Deepen your breathing. Walk your hands back. Keep that quality of quiet. Hands and knees, bring the blanket under your knees. Be still, be graceful. Child's pose. Hands and knees, down dog. Hands and knees. Child's pose. To rise. And to return. Just keep moving through these two points one more time. Wag your tail, walk your dog. Feel the breath long and smooth through the sides of your ribs and then be still. Thumbs down, outer shoulders wrap back, bend your knees, float your heels over the balls of your feet, get a little longer, a little higher. <sighs> Hands and knees and pause. Left hand out, left thumb up, right heel back. So there tends to be a collapse here. Press into your right hand, tuck your chin and this will bring your navel up into your body. Right knee to the left elbow, and then inhale, open, exhale, close. And see if you can feel on the exhale, you're bringing your navel to your spine. And then as you extend hand and heel, 
Can you keep your navel into your body? Three, two, one, and reach out, press, stay. So we begin to arrive in our potency, our strength, our clarity. Good, put a block underneath your left hand, pivot the left foot to the side, put your right foot flat, take your right hand over. And now your right elbow to your right knee. There's your breath out. Inhale, opening. For three and two. Pause long. Pivot your left foot closer to your hand. Send your hip forward. Find a little bit of a back bend. Open through the chest. And you set it down, hands and knees, block goes to the right side. Left hand goes out, right hand goes out, right thumb up, left heel back, elbow to knee. So navel to spine, tuck your chin, press your left thumb into the floor. Keep the front of the body rising into the back of the body. For three, for two, for one, press, stay a beat, navel to spine. And as you bring your right hand down at a block, pivot your right foot to the right. Left foot flat, hips forward, and left elbow, left knee, there's exhale. Foot to the floor, hand open, there's inhale. So we start in these simple movements, accessing the lines the nadis, the channels, through the physical. And as you extend, pause, hips forward, heart broad. And setting downward facing dog, pedal it out. Feel the space in your chest, in your tail. Good. And then wag it out. Walk your feet to your hands and sit down, hands back, and let your knees wash it out. Let your knees wash out. Good. Put your left leg straight out. And the left hand holds the right outer heel. Press that straight to bend and then straighten. Turn your chest to the front. Turn your chest to the side. So that you're starting to turn from the seat through the navel. Navel turns right. Press into both heels, sitting tall. Now hold your right hand straight back. Start to open through the chest, through the ribs and press your heel out and only the chin, leaning into that right heel will bring you upright. And then the chest broad, stay, stay, stay. And unfold, right foot to the floor, right leg long, bend your left knee, heel into the thigh. Right, so I'm in Janu Shashasana A, fingertips to fold, to rise, <sighs> Inhaling up with length, exhaling forward. Lead with your heart. As you fold, take your left hand a little further. Sink your left hip back and down. Turn your navel to the right. Bring your sternum towards your knee. Draw your right toes back, they're awake, and unfold. Keep your left leg, keep your heel to your thigh, and lie back. Left hand to left thigh, right hand overhead, you are in tree. So pressing the left knee wide, reach the right hand overhead, opening, opening, opening. <sighs> to upright. Heels wide, wash it out. So the gripping, the staying, the tightness can be old habits. 
right leg long, and we just loosen, shake out the knee, right hand, hold the left heel, press out, revolve, bend, square off. So, revolution. Once you've found that, lift the left hand, thumb points up, and reach into both heels and turn through the ribs. For two. Good. Keep that only the head. Lean a little into your heels. Bring your spine upright. Good. And the left heel to the floor. The right knee bends. Knee wide. Fingertips to fold. To rise. So if I'm folding further than you, doesn't matter. You are folding to keep your low back flat, navel to spine. And wherever you go, just take your right hand a wee bit further. And the right hand forward opening from the right shoulder to the right hip. Sink your right hip into the floor. Standing in the left heel, the toes are awake on both feet. And the breath is all the way through the back of the left calf, hamstring, spine, fingertips. The back body is lengthened and brightened. To unfold, bringing your right hand to your right thigh as you lie into your tree. Right hand press down, press away, left hand overhead opening. Reach into your left heel, draw your left toes back and spread the front body wide. Straighten both legs, two hands overhead. Just feel the length as though you were standing. Toes drawn back, thighs are strong. Breath into the chest. Knees to chest. And as you roll your way forward, plant your feet. Add your strap as you come to stand. Your strap is wide enough that you can come up and over the shoulders without involving your eyebrows or your jaw. So if it needs to get longer, get longer. Take your time. Open from the sternum to the armpit, from the armpit to the elbow. From the elbow right under the jaw. And we'll sweep. Hands up, go left, across the front, to the right, up over to the left, across, up over, bend your knees. The whole body involved, opening the chest, the upper back and reversing. For three. For two. For one. And you'll just take the hands back behind you for a beat. Notice the chest, the tuck of the chin. Feel the length through the tops of the shoulders. The arms are open. We need that space available for our mind, for our perception. Setting down, step to the top of the mat. Bring your hands up high, your palms together. Drop your thumbs. Give yourself a little wriggle, a full body. Let your thumbs drop behind you. Let your elbows come up, let your hips come forward. Put all the parts and pieces together so far. Heels down, feet, toes long, hips forward, elbows up. And then you look up and you let it open. Bend your knees and fold all the way down. Knees are soft. Step your left foot back. Put your left knee down and sweep up. 
Palms together, thumbs down the back, tuck your chin, here's exhale. Release your hands, look up, here's inhale. And set down, down dog, stepping back. Left foot steps up, right knee down, hands up high. Palms together, down the back. Exhale, tuck the chin, release, inhale, look up. And fold. Right foot steps up. Hands wide, sit down, thumbs up, heart up, stand up. Good, thumbs down the back, tuck your chin, elbows in. And release, look up. Fold. Right foot, right knee, hands high. Down the back. Reach up, look up. Down dog. Right foot, left knee. And hands up. Down the back. Reach. Fold. Step up. And unfold. Again. Down the back, tuck the chin. Release and rise. And fold. Left foot back, left knee down. Hands up. Tuck your chin. Unfold. And down. Down dog. Feel the backs of your arms and the fronts of your legs getting longer. Left foot up. Knee down. Reach up. Elbows up. Thumbs down. Release. Look up. And hands down. Step up. Lengthen. And then widen. Rolling to stand. Thumbs down the back, tuck the chin, elbows in, and let go, reach, fold. Right foot, right knee, hands up. Down the back, up and open, and fold. Left foot steps back, right foot steps up, last one, left knee down, hands up, thumbs down the back, tuck your chin, let it go. And step up. Hands wide, sitting down. Good. Bring your palms together right down the middle and let go. Front body, back body, even and long. Shake out your feet. Bring your right knee to your chest. Put your gaze on one point. Draw your right knee high and stay. Left heel is down, left hand is high. Focus. Keep the gaze, come to the floor. Left knee, interlace, draw your left knee up and your right heel down. Right hand high. Hand down, foot down. Bend your right knee, catch the top of the right foot. Left hand, left hip. Square across the hip, square across the chest. To balance. Just the lightest opening from the chest through the thigh, through the hip. Hip forward. And release. Left knee. And then tree, right foot to the right ankle, the right calf, or the inner thigh. Right hand to the right thigh, left hand, left ribs, peel it open. And then left hand high. And down, and immediately, left heel to the ankle, to the calf or to the thigh. Left hand, left thigh. Right hand, right rib, roll open. Right hand high. Sit down, step back. 
to dog to hands knees and just feel knees down elbows down hands knees down dog inhale hands knees exhale elbows inhale exhale dog you're opening through the chest and the shoulders elbows to dog ah. feel everything you've done now you may work right here or high plank instead of hands knees down dog knees bend in dog press to plank bend your knees elbows down plank look forward look forward in your bent knee dog look forward in your plank look forward as you bend your elbows and start to play so knees down or plank your choice you're getting some space and action through the shoulders and the upper back for three and two a little at a time through the sequence this will make more sense to your body knees wide toes together fold unfold from your dog fold the blanket out of the way step your feet to your hands put your hands to your hips knees bend heels are heavy stand tall so the backs of the legs go back and the heels go down turn your thumbs away and with that open the collarbones Keep the chest open, the upper arms rolling back, but bring the palms to face you. Make fists, firm fists. Reach your knuckles away from your shoulders. Firm your arms, reach your knuckles down. Whisper of ha. Close the mouth, same breath, out the nose. Firm the arms. Chest open, shoulder blades to the spine, begin to lift your chin. And that's it, stay there, a full minute, right there. Keep rolling the shoulder blades to the spine, keep anchoring the shoulders away from the head, exploring where you can go in the throat and in the neck. Keep broadening at the base of your skull, 10 seconds. Inhale, heart up, tuck your chin, stay. Hold the breath, open your hands. Chin up, breath out, let go. Notice. Knees soft, hinge at the hips, fold down, step back, down dog. Knees soft, arms long. You've built a sweet, open dog right there. Long, steady breathing. Eyes on one point between your heels or eyes closed. If you need to, put your knees to the floor. 
and t- tip your tail back into a half dog. If it's too much for your shoulders, open through the spine. If you can, steady down dog. Thumbs down, outer shoulders roll back, the armpits lengthen and widen. The back end of your hips rising tall. There's a bit of a back bend in the chest. There's a bit of a forward bend, a hinge of the hips. Let the heels float, let the knees bend, let the spine be so, so long, drop your head. Nothing locked, nothing fixed or stuck or static. The posture is alive, growing, expanding, brightening. Feel your chest on the inhale, navel to spine on the exhale. Keep broadening, rolling the shoulders back, anchoring the thumbs, knees soft. Step your right foot up outside of your right hand. Put your left knee down. If you need to, a block underneath your left hand. If not, hand to the floor. Right hand to your right thigh. Press wide. So the inner edge of your right foot peels open off the floor. Bring your pelvis forward. Bring your heart high. Find the back bend. Broaden through the chest. Broaden through the armpits. Lengthen from your left knee to your left hip, left hip to left chest. You may work here or square your right foot to point forward and the right hand to go back, catching the top of your foot. Broadening your collarbones, find the back bend, long deep breath. The right arm is open, the right chest is open, the left thigh, left hip, up under the tongue is open, up into the center of the brain, the midbrain point, bright. And releasing right hand down, step back through dog, we'll step the left foot up. Left outside of the left hand, right knee down, a block under the right hand if needed, turn your left toes out and press the left thigh away. The hips come forward, the front of the pelvis is drawn towards the front of the mat, the heart comes up and the chest is broad. It's a perfect place to stay. If this is your back bend, keep drawing the navel forward, the heart up, wrapping your upper arm towards your ribs and up into the throat or pivot your left toes to point forward and your left hand to go back. So the right foot presses into the left hand, the right hip presses forward, cross the chest, you're broad and smooth, close your eyes, long, deep breathing. Find the back bend, support that, breathe into it, lengthen from your right knee to your right ribs, up into the palate of the mouth, up into the tops of the eye sockets, up towards the midbrain. Keep your attention there, releasing hands coming down, step back, downward facing dog.
walk your feet to your hands and sit down. Mm. Lie back, palms open, knees bent, feet flat. Fill the full capacity of the lungs and feel that broaden through the rib cage and drop your shoulders into the floor. Soften the skin around your eyes. Let your head become very accessible. And right here, you may feel a tremble in the legs. It's a nervous system reset. It's great. Not a problem. It's a good thing. Lift your head and shoulders. Hold the thighs if you need to. Find a whisper of ha. Close your mouth, out the nose. So this is the breath. If needed, hold here. If you need to, a hand behind your head. Or right hand, right thigh. Left leg straight, turn your left palm open. Half stretch pose, we go. Stand in the center of your left heel. Draw your toes back. Open the left palm, the left side so bright and steady. Keep the breath, change sides. So left hand, left shin, right palm open, toes back. Bend both knees, hands out long. Maybe you work here or for the last 20 seconds, straighten your legs, see where you can go. Be shaken up. You're shaking with joy. Three, two, bring your knees to your chest, fall back. You're gonna roll right up to kneel. Block between your heels, hands on thighs. If you need to pad your knees, blanket. Hands on thighs, just roll through the hips. Inhale forward, exhale back. Crown of the head stays still. Close your eyes. Three, two, and you'll just pause neutral and notice. The brilliance, the radiance of your body. 
Let it gather and coalesce the third eye, our perception, our ability to see through time, through space. Take all of it with you. We are going to gather the way that we began uh, with the forehead resting. So taking your block, set it out in front. Forearms, center of the forehead to rest to the block. If you don't need the block, forehead to the mat. If you can't be in child's pose because of your ankles, knees, hips, or back, Come to full prostration the way we began. Belly down, forehead on the edge of your blanket, arms out long. Wherever you go, close your eyes. Long, deep breathing. The full kriya, the knees are together, the feet are together, the body on the thighs, the forehead to the floor, and the hands to the heels. And be still. To add, on the exhale, a little hum, and you'll feel a resonance right at the contact of the forehead and the mat. Relaxing your hands and your elbows and your shoulders. The breath becomes full and free through the backs of your lungs. Your head is heavy. Walk your hands forward, lift your head, forearms down, walk your thighs back and come onto your belly. Keep all of it quiet, all of it quiet. Sphinx, the hips are heavy, let the hips and heels move side to side. The head, the jaw, quiet, quiet, like thick water. Check that the space to your left and to your right is clear. And extend your left arm out. Roll to the left. Roll your right knee open. You can drop your head. And roll back down, belly down. Cobra, little baby cobra. Right arm out. Roll to the right, roll your left knee open. And belly down, rolling open. 
And that's it, just side to side. Good. We'll just go three more times. All the tension pressed out of the body, loose and fluid. And to turn right over onto your back. Start with your knees, bend your feet flat, bring your palms open beside you, walk your legs out long. Be still. Feel the front surface of your body. Let the breath go anywhere it's needed. Let the feet shake out. Let the knees go up and down. Let the tail wag. Let the hands open and close until there's a sensation of complete ease all through the body and all through the breath. Any adjustment, make it now. Now with the body at ease and the body in stillness, notice the breathing. On the inhalation, the chest expands lightly and recedes. And let your breathing coalesce in the belly, quiet in the abdomen. The eyes are closed, the body absolutely effortless. And just notice the breath in and out through both nostrils. And there's no hurry. Let the breath be small or half the capacity. And bring a fingertip to that mid forehead, third eye, mind's eye point. And on your inhale, feel through both nostrils that the breath is going up to that single point and back out through both nostrils, like an inverted V of light of prana. Put your hand down and keep the breath in through both, up to the third eye, out through both. Continue. Have the tiniest pause at the forehead center. The very top of a roller coaster, the moment of weightlessness, of charge, of potential, and then let it go.
three more. Release the technique and let your attention rest at the third eye. A willingness, a trust, your perceptions, your choices, let them change. The effortlessness in the body absorbing this recalibration. Drop the plumb line of light further back into the brain. Affecting the function of your body towards balance, harmony. Take your hands overhead. Shake out your feet and your knees and your tail. Walk your feet in to hold your shins. We finish in a meditation that's just a continuation of where we've been, roll up, build a cross-legged seat, arriving, hands on thighs, close your eyes. Any adjustment, make it now. Go. Pause your playlist if it didn't pause. And with your hands on your thighs, with your heart high, your chin lightly in. Feel the sensation of breath in and out through the nostrils. Now feel the breath intentionally through the left side, up to the third eye center, and down, exhaling through the right. Inhaling through the right to the third eye center, a little pause, and exhaling out the left. In the left, third eye center, out the right. In the right third eye center, out the left. Just follow that pattern. The breath diminishes to an eighth of your capacity. The breath is so slight. But your attention grows In left, out right, in right, out left is one. Do it again and it's two. The technique is to count backwards. We'll start at 15. Each time you go back out the left, one less. When you get to one, in and out through both.
At your conclusion, simply release the technique and rest with your attention at the third eye, at the mind's eye. Let it broaden. A sensation, a tangible experience that you could see more clearly into your past. that you could see more clearly into your future. And as you look into your past, you can extend healing to the places in your experience when you felt unsupported. You can see this from here and offer light. And as we offer light to the places that needed support, our future changes. It doesn't need to be active, simply a willingness to provide light to the midbrain is an act of healing that changes all events to come. Offer yourself light to harmony. If you have a seated practice and you'd like to stay longer, stay or sweeping wide, reach high. Bring your palms together, thumbs resting at that forehead center point. Satnam, I bow to this great wisdom in and around me and through me. Eight count sat, two count nam, inhale. Trust this can feel as though we've finally opened the windows on a room that has been so closed that we're sort of surprised by all the light. It can be tempting to close the light off because we know that place in the dark. The light is your companion. The light is your sustenance. The light is the solution that you're seeking, the joy that you want more of. Keep this space open and available as you can when it gets lost or caught or tired, closed. Slow, deep in your breath, simply rest your attention there and again, open the blinds. This is such a rich experience. We have it for the next 37 days. I will be back next thir this Thursday, two days. So the schedule, if you're new at all, Sunday at 8 a.m., Tuesday at noon, Thursday at noon, and Saturday at 9.30. Those are all online. You can replay them anytime. Class is 20 to drop in or $100. You can come as many times as you like. It's on honor system. If you come and you take class, I won't know. It's here for you to make it possible for everyone. In the vinyasa this Saturday, so the next four Saturdays, we're going to be building inversions. So we'll build a tripod. We'll begin to build inversions. And because we're at a distance, I've held off because um, I can't see you. <laughs> So if you have concerns about that in advance and you really want to work on it, then call me and we can, we can get yourself a, a little bit of a support. Or I will absolutely be mindful and wise and walk us through a week at a time to 
turn you upside down. I look forward to this. If you're interested in Soul Soil, I'll send that out this week. Soul Soil is a group where you can talk with me and we're in community. There are two calls about halfway through the sequence and you get to hear what other people are experiencing as a result of the sequence. You get direct response from me. I will provoke you. I will listen. I will call out your teachings further and you'll hear a consistency across people. You'll hear, wow, yes, that's happening to me, but I hadn't thought of it that way. It's such a rich environment of exchange um, as well as receiving greater depth of teaching before we begin. So sign up, that's on the website, marthamcalpin.com slash soulsoil. If you want to be a part of that, let me know by Friday. And I'll see you so soon. Sat down.